hi, it's Mel and today I'm filming my book haul for April and March because I didn't do one last month for some reason. The first books that I have to show you are all graphic novels. The first book that I have is Young Avengers Omnibus by Kieran Gillen and James McKelvey. I love the Young Avengers and I like read some stuff online but I hadn't actually gotten any proper graphic novels for them and this one was a good one to start with even though it started with them not being in a group together but it has kid loki turning into teen loki halfway through for some reason that i still don't quite understand and it has miss america and hawkeye who's kate bishop and hulkling and wiccan and i may like them more than the actual avengers because they're a lot more diverse and one's part cockroach and it's just very fun even though there is quite a lot of angst it's still fun and really enjoyable and there's some really cool artwork in it as well the next graphic novel is serenity leaves on the wind which is a graphic novel for the movie following the tv series firefly which got cancelled and nathan fillion was the star of that. This is the fourth one and I don't have the other ones but it had Nathan on. The next graphic novel is a very violent one and that is Deadpool Kills the Marvel Universe. This is really messed up. It's like Deadpool gets tortured and then instead of killing him or making him insane it just makes him want to kill everyone and not having the voices in his head anymore. The next graphic novel is Miss Marvel No Normal. This was really hyped up a while ago like last year and I got around to getting it and I haven't read it and it's not like the other comic books that I have it's in a really different more artistic style I think it's gonna be good though the next book that I got was still at Forbidden Planet but isn't a graphic novel but it is sci-fi I think it is Vicious by V.E. Schwab everyone loves this just I think it's about two boys and that's pretty much all I know there might be a disease or something and I think someone's in prison I I haven't actually made it all the way through the blurb of this one the covers of the superpowers though which will be interesting because I don't read books with superpowers in I read the book of the film of Avengers but it was kind of really terrible the next book is one that my mum got me because our personal trainer recommended it as the only book that he's probably gonna read this year and that is The Chimp Paradox by Professor Stephen Peters. This is, it's all about this theory that everyone instead of having an inner child has an inner chimp and they kind of like an inner child but more aggressive because chimps are kind of aggressive. It's all about the mind and stuff like that. Those were the books that I got in March and in April I got Assassin's Apprentice by Robin Hobb. This is a weird arc-like copy from World Book Day that one of the youth workers was like we have loads of these free books do you want one and I was like free books sure whatever and then she was like yeah have a book and I got a book it's something with the king and an assassin probably the apprentice of said assassin I went to London for a convention and as soon as I got off the train in King's Cross I spotted a bookshop in the train station and was like can I go to see the books and then I found the YA section and was like oh, all of the pretty books I need them so I got two books after being in London for two minutes and then didn't get anything for the rest of the weekend which pretty good I guess but those are Noggin by John Corey Whaley a book about a guy who dies and then his head is put onto a different body or his mind is put on someone else's body and everything's different because he's like been dead for a couple years I think it's 50 years I started reading it but then I felt guilty because I was already reading like two books that weekend so the other book that I got in the bookshop in King's Cross was The Lux by Anna Godberson I don't know what this is probably historical by the cover and I didn't read the blurb of this one either because I just buy books without knowing anything about them if they look vaguely familiar I'm like oh, I'll probably want to read that at some point right something about like high society long ago and like scandals and secrets probably 1899 which would be Queen Victoria may not be in England but it's still Queen Victoria because she died in 1901 and the fourth and last book that I got in the month of April was All I Know Now by Carrie Hope 
Fletcher. The adorable little Carrie, as seen here, is a YouTuber and she wrote a book about growing up and becoming a teenager and how stressful everything is and it's kind of like a guidebook like Grace did. It's basically something that she would have wanted to read when she was younger and would find helpful so she wants to help everyone else and I'm really looking forward to reading this. Those are all the books that I received in the last two months. That was fun, I guess. Bye!